Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through my process for building this volcano island through a time lapse. The first thing I do is start by working from the biggest shapes in my environment down to the smallest. So I started with the island itself in the ocean first. Once I had that shape in, I imported this crater model from Quixel Bridge. And now I'm placing the medium sized pieces to fill out the ground around it. I have found through experimentation that I don't actually need too many variations on these medium pieces that I'm using to fill out the environment. It goes quite a long way just to duplicate them, rotate them, scale them. And if you place them like this, you won't really notice the repeating patterns that much. I'm working heavily off reference, which is something I want to note because sometimes I know it can be a little daunting to know where to start with something like this. I basically just assembled three or four references of islands and volcanoes that I really found inspiring. And I'm just have them open next to me here and I'm looking at them and not copying them, but sort of using the way their shapes are laid out as a guide for me as I'm placing these. So now that I have the medium shapes laid out, I'm placing some smaller ones here. And I've just modified the color in their materials so that they roughly match each other. Next, I'm going to add the lava, which is going to be a multi-layered effect. The first is going to be just a plane, and the plane is going to have a material with a four-way chaos node, which is just going to be taking this simple noise texture and mixing it around in all directions over time. Next, on the material of the crater, I'm going to be adding an emissive color. And I'm going to be masking that emissive color with a vertex color node. So I'm going to be painting around the lava to help blend it in. Something I did notice while doing this is that the vertex color painting doesn't work yet with Nanite. So I had to switch the creator model out of Nanite in order to do the vertex painting. And then I just switched it back. Next, I'm adding a very simple Niagara simulation for the particles that are jumping out of the lava. If you're interested in learning more about Niagara's effects, especially weather effects, I have a short online course which I am working on and you will find in the description below. These are simple emissive sprites that it's kind of shooting up into the air. And looking at my reference, I notice that the smoke that's leaving the volcano is actually not black, it's this whitish color. So I'm going to go ahead and modify that as well. I will do a very simple camera animation here that's just moving from left to right. I will modify the water a little bit to give it more of the look that I want, which is a combination of the water material and the actual wave simulation as well. Now I'm adding runtime virtual texture support into the materials that I'm using to help blend the sand onto the rocks. If you'd like an in-depth explanation on how to do this, as well as some of the other world building and virtual filmmaking techniques I'm using in this video, you can always check out my online course, which you'll find in the description below. I found building this scene that using decals to create the discoloration of the sand where the water is kind of lapping against it 
worked pretty well. Again, I'm really just working off a reference that I have next to me. Finally, I'm going to add some hand-placed fog cards. These are from a pack called Easy Fog, which I bought from William Foucher. It's really useful. I will put the link in the description below. There you have it. I hope that was helpful and I hope you found it inspiring and perhaps learned a few techniques that you might want to apply to your own projects. Good luck.